do you know about augmented reality? Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Izzy and this is the Izzy and Obrey Show. As you know, I'm a pretty big advocate of virtual reality and augmented reality. I mean, after all, I'm one of the people that actually bought this. Virtual reality, as you know, is when you strap something like this on your head and uh, there's, a, there's a screen inside this thing and there's a camera attached to the whole system. There are lights here, it tracks how you move your head and it reproduces that same motion in the action that's going on in the game. It makes for a great experience, but it's a little expensive to get this going in a worthwhile way. You need, you know, a big headset like this. For you to interact with objects in the virtual world of the game, you need controllers like this. It's getting pretty hot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> virtual reality ends up being a little prohibitive for a lot of people. They are the uh, cell phone headsets they can use to watch videos and stuff like that, but it's not very interactable. Is that? Is that a word? Interactable? You can't really interact with virtual reality on, on a cell phone. It's great to get to see what it's all about, but it's not the best experience VR has to offer. Augmented reality, on the other hand, is a lot more accessible. It's when you use your, say, your phone to film the world around you and the software populates that world with digital characters that you can interact with. I guess the, the best way to exemplify what AR is, uh, I think the most popular application of AR we've seen in the last few years was Pokemon Go. And it was a very narrow application of AR at that. There's a lot more interesting applications that we haven't seen come to market yet. And that's about to change big time because at the last WWDC, Apple announced their own augmented reality platform. This is massive. Whenever a big company like Apple that has the power and the momentum to change waves goes into a certain market like that, a lot of people follow, a lot of people pay a lot more attention, and I'm very excited that we're about to see a lot cooler stuff with augmented reality. This is why I was very excited when Wikitude reached out to me to do this video. Wikitude is the world's leading AR developing community. They have over 100,000 people creating AR experiences. In fact, Wikitude was elected 2017's best AR tool by the Augie Awards. These guys know what they're doing. I'm very excited that Apple's putting their weight behind this technology. I'm very excited that Wikitude reached out to me uh, to talk about this with you guys because the possibilities of AR are they are, like I said, much bigger than VR. VR, the way I see it, it'll only ever be used for gaming. It's only, it's great, it's great entertainment. A little very expensive, a little very expensive. And the applications are very limited. There have already been a lot of very interesting applications for AR, both for gaming and for actually useful things. There's an AR application a few years ago, I remember, where you hold up your phone and it uses the GPS and the camera, the accelerometer, all of those things that are in your phone to superimpose information about where you are. So you start putting your, uh, pointing your phone around and then it shows up like you want to go to a restaurant. A little like GPS style overlay shows up on top of your camera showing you how to get to a restaurant and then an information beacon pops up and you can see the reviews for the restaurant, you can see their menu just by looking around on your phone. It's stuff like that that really actually enhances someone's life. Do I love uh, playing job simulator on my PSVR? Yes. Was it worth $700? Definitely not. And I'm actually far more interested in technology that has a more usability than just goofing around. Not that goofing around is not great. One thing that I've always, like there's one uh, augmented reality game that I used to love on the PS3. It was called Eye of Judgment. It was basically a card game and it had a, came with a camera, the, the bundle came with a camera. And as you point, you, you show the camera, the cards, an animation pops up on the screen and the creatures come to life on top of the cards. Very Yu-Gi-Oh! Cool game and a great use of the application for gaming. So if you are a developer, I urge you to jump into this. Back when Apple introduced the App Store, the whole microtransaction through buying apps thing did not exist and that is an industry that sprouted out of nowhere because a company like Apple decided to open the floodgates for that. I have a feeling that that might happen again with AR. I hope because I love the technology. If you're a developer, I urge you to jump in on this. I'm going to put a link to the Wikitude SDK, a free trial version of that, on the description below. You should check it out. I am very excited 
for what we're gonna see because to be honest with you I'm kind of bored with new phone upgrades like the new iPhone comes up and it does this and the new Samsung Galaxy whatever does this I, I want to see more in in the way of interesting software that actually allows us to truly live in the future like we should be by now like I want I want to point with my phone at things and have stuff popping up on the screen and telling me where to you know like th that's what I want I want more of that just to give an example of how how actually useful AR can be there was one app I think it was bought by Google years ago it was called a Wor uh, world lens and uh, what it did is you could point at printed uh, a text around you like a sign or a menu or whatever you point at it with your phone and the phone translates the text and superimposes it over the actual footage that you're capturing with your phone. I've gone to my native Brazil with people who don't speak Portuguese and I've had to use that app and it was I was living in Star Trek at that moment to just point my phone at something and have that be translated in real time as I'm moving the phone. Incredible. So I, I want to see more of that. And again, if you're a developer, uh, the link to a free trial of the Wikitude SDK is going to be in the description of this video. Check it out. Check it out. But that's everything for today. I really want to thank Wikitude for the opportunity to talk about this uh, with my audience. Make sure to give them some love. Go check out the SDK. Download that. Start programming stuff. I want to see your app on my phone. But that's everything for today. I'm Izzy and I'm done. Also, you don't look this silly using AR, so that's a bonus. <laughs>